What up, y'all? Got another video for y'all. This ain't gonna be a very long one. Um, I wasn't even really gonna do a video on this at first, but I felt like I needed to. Um, I am gonna give y'all some updates on um, some shoe re Jordan releases, and uh, I did go after a shoe that I don't normally go after. Um, the Yeezy uh, Quantum that just released today. Um, if you're watching this, it might not be today that I post this video, so it might be it released yesterday or two days ago, something like that, but it released today whenever I made this video. But this video is, uh, I'm going to talk about somebody who's doing, that does a lot for the sneaker community. Um, he tries to give back as much as he can. Uh, he's doing some amazing giveaways right now. Um, so, you know, I highly suggest to go, you know, try to get on some of these giveaways because he's not that worried about, you know, making money off of these giveaways because, you know, in, it's in a sense advertisement. So think of it like this. If he could do something and have three, do maybe even spend three thousand, five thousand dollars $5,000, right? Out of pocket. Okay, he's going to get $20,000 worth of advertisement or $10,000 worth of advertisement because when you pay somebody to advertise for you, it don't quite reach the people that it really needs to reach. So before somebody goes clashing against what he's trying to sell certain things for to, you know, to enter you into these giveaways, you need to kind of look at where it's coming from and, and really see the, the real picture behind this. Because I understand it, because in the industry that I work in, or the two industries, considering reselling and the vape industry, you know, I understand how that works and how this is the best way to do it, and it works a lot better, and you're giving back to your people, you know? So, it is what it is. But uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, a like, and a comment. Um, first off, we're going to get into some, uh, shoe releases. We got the, uh, today, go on Twitter. There is some, there's, they still might be open. You got the Jordan 1 Dior, Jordan 1 High and Low Dior raffles today. Now, when you enter these raffles, you do, you have to be ready to pack your bags whenever the time comes, because you will have to go pick them up at one of the locations and there's several in the United States. There's several worldwide, but there's some like, for example, for me, I would have to go to New York or Miami. And that's pretty much the two places I'd have to choose from, or I'd have to go out west to pick up my shoes. So, uh, you know, you got a 2,500 to, or for the high, and I think it's 22 for the the low, but that's going that shoe's gonna resell for quite a bit. I will say that. I mean, we're talking thousands of dollars. Okay, tomorrow we got the women's tie-dyed uh, Jordan 1 High. I'd say cop this. Now, they, from what I can tell, sizes are only going to run 5 to 12. So, that's a 10 and a half of men's. I might try to cop a pair um, just because a 10 and a half might on a Jordan 1. Jordan 1s do fit, seem like they fit just a tiny little bit big. So, I mean, a half a size I might could get down with. If not, if I try it on it, don't fit, then I'll sell it. Uh, I think it's a dope shoe. You know, I wish they had made the extended sizes in that shoe. And for that shoe, you can go on websites like uh, Foot Locker, East Bay, the Sneakers app, Champs. And then a lot of them, like if they're going to have that shoe at their store, uh, you can do reservations or inner raffles. Which a lot of the raffles is done closed, so you just gotta check, download the apps, and, and see what see what's offered for you in your location. I know my location is not getting them, so therefore, I gotta go online and try to get them on the sneakers app or something like that. And any Jordan One sales, especially a shoe that looks like that, it's a dope shoe. So this Saturday, we got the Jordan Eleven Lows, the. Uh, Concord breads. People, I feel like people sleeping on this shoe. I really do. You look at the Concord Lows, $300 plus. The Bread Lows, $300 plus. 
This shoe is both of them put together. How is it not going to at least hit $300? Like, it might not right away, but it's still going to be a $250 to $300 shoe. I, th I think it's going to be, you know, at least $240 out the gate. And it's it's $185. So, <clears throat> you know, that leaves some room. Yeah, you're going to have about $195 in it after tax. But, <clears throat> that's still, you know, some lunch money to be made. Possibly some dinner money, too. Uh, then on uh, Ju July the 2nd, we got the uh, Jordan 14 Toro, which that's going to be a, a, a banger right there. I really think that one's going to be a banger. Um, July the 4th, which is... I, I'm not digging this shoe. The Jordan 13 Lucky Green. Um, we just had the Flint 13s. And that was a classic OG colorway, and it done good off the get-go. Then it's kind of fell off. I think these Lucky Greens hold off, because you might get those on sale. Um, but now on July the 7th, we got the Jordan 5 Grape Ice, and I think that one's going to do numbers. Then on July the 10th, we got the Jordan 11 Low Women's Concord Sketch. That's the Jordan Low uh, with the blue patent leather on it. That one, I don't, I don't think it's going to do like the, the Concord bread is. I, I just don't see it. The Concord bread, even though like the wit, this one's a women's, but they're selling for the same price. And I feel like that that, uh, that Concord bread, it's, it's, it's bull's colors. And it's a combination of the Concord and the bread just slapped together. I mean, you look from half of the shoe down... And it looks like a bread. You look from half the shoe up, and it looks like a Concord. So how can you, you just can't go wrong with that shoe? If you love both those shoes, how do you not love that other than it's a low? Like, people just are driving me crazy with that. Like, you ain't a, a Jordan 11 lover if you don't love that shoe. Like, I don't give a crap what you say. Like, I don't give a crap if it is a low. Like, you know, I, I wear lows all the time. I ain't got my lows on right now. But how can you say you don't like that? But then you, you'll you rock. A, it just tells me people are strictly hot beast, even though I got hot beast in my name. But I'm not, I, I do that for the Supreme stuff and everything that I uh, review. But, you know, like low tops, they're, they're taking off right now. Tons of low tops are selling like crazy, especially Jordans. So uh, let's move on. Then uh, July the 11th. On 7-Eleven, we got the Jordan 1 High Light Smoke Gray. I think that one would do numbers. Uh, on the 16th, we got the Jordan 11 Low IE. Now, that's one that I don't think will... That one will sit. And it's just because the IEs, they're cool and all, but they're not a regular Jordan 11. Like when I remember when they first came out years ago, whenever the original Jordan 11s came out. That was the first Jordan 11 low that was ever released was an IE. And I wasn't a fan. Right off the get-go, I was like, why are they bringing this out? Now, if they'd have made it like a high top and done those colors, but patent leather, yeah, rock it all day long. But <clears throat> Or even just put patent leather on it. It'd have been a dope shoe. <clears throat> all right, moving along. On the 18th, We've got Jordan uh, 12, Black and University Gold. Now, this one I think is going to sell out and, and be a good one, too. That one will be really good. And then on the 25th, we've got the Jordan 1 High Metallic Silver. I don't know if it'll do as good as that light smoke gray just because of watching how the mid smoke gray did. The, the mid smoke gray, even though it hasn't jumped in numbers, it's sold out instantly every time that they've restocked or posted any time. So I think that that's going to be a great shoe to grab. Uh, this metallic, it'll be a good one to grab. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think it'll be as good as the light smoke gray. Um, so if you're picking between the two, I'll go with the light smoke gray. Especially if you're waiting for, you know, the value to go up. And that's going to wrap up the speaker news. For the releases. But moving along. This guy like I said. Is doing some awesome stuff. You know if you if you're at a sneaker con. 
and you got a bunch of DS stuff, he might roll up at your table and say, hey, give me a number on your whole table. That's just how us do rolls. Like, <clears throat> he, he buys multiple tables, you know, tons of shoes, hundreds of shoes, hundreds of thousands of dollars in shoes at sneaker cons. <clears throat> and the guy that I'm talking about is uh, Two J's. He runs Urban Necessities. He runs Two J's Closets. Uh, dot com, and you know Urban Necessities is a consignment website slash uh, store. He's located in Las Vegas. Super humble dude. Super humble dude. I've, he's had me on his live feed a couple of times, gave me tons of great advice. He's DM me backwards and forth. Uh, he signed a t-shirt that I ordered once. Um, I don't know if he got a chance to sign in this one, but, you know, uh, he did at least sign one. And, you know, I'm grateful for that. Uh, this right here is my entry into a giveaway for the Chunky Dunks. So... Hit that like button. Better my odds. I just I, we're gonna say this for everybody that hits that like button, it's gonna give me extra bonus points towards these chunky dunkies, so I can give y'all chunky dunky review on here. Uh, I've been dying for that shoe. I wanted it so bad. And here's another thing: he's coming out with more videos. I mean, more giveaways for like the Travis Scott Seven Twenties, and then he's also gonna do a big one. For the Grateful Dead uh, SBs or the Grateful Dead Dunk Lows. I can't remember if it's SB or Dunk Low, but those shoes are dope. And uh, he's talking about possibly doing a five shirt purchase, which will be a little bit pricey, but <clears throat> you're going to get one of each of the five colors of the shoe that's released. And we're talking about a shoe that's, you know, going to be a Anywhere from, excuse me, a two to $5,000 shoe. And we're talking about you getting five of them and five matching shirts to wear with them. The tie-dye shirts did cost $40. So you, you are looking at that. But this shirt, like in the live feed, I watch his live feeds all the time on Instagram. He had the designer on there and he had us giving him votes on like, you know, hey, what, what? Should I do? Should I make this shirt this way? Should I do it this, that? He wanted to make sure that we was happy with what we was buying. And that, that I felt like was really cool. But, uh, this shirt is actually <clears throat> supposed to be like a collab shirt between 2Js himself and Chunky Dunky. He ain't collabing with Ben and Jerry's, but it's supposed to be the like chunky dunky uh t-shirt you'll see the similarities in it uh whenever i open this up okay we got the rec receipt paper here the packing slip and uh i'll show y'all this let's see here. i'll leave my address off so we don't show that but as y'all can tell, um, and 2J's Closet is the one that he's doing this giveaway on. I think that he's still got one going uh, on the uh, on Urban Necessities that he ain't done yet. Uh, I'm not 100%, but I think so. And he's just done one on the Strange Loves. Like, the man's going at it hard. So, you know, I feel like, uh, you know, if you got the money to enter... It's definitely worth it. He He's not publishing, or he's not having printed off just buttloads of shirts just to make a bunch of money. That's not how it's working. These shirts are limited, so uh, you, he's not making a crap ton of them to, you know, make money off of this, you know, all this stuff. He's just trying to get some of the costs covered for these expensive shoes that he's giving away, which is cool. And, you know, it's good advertisement, like I said. But here's the shirt. <clears throat> like I said, it's for the Chunky Donkeys. So, of course, it's got a tie-dye shirt. And on the front... Oh, I didn't even realize it's on the front and back. And this feels dope. Oh, man. Like, this printing on here, it's not like just regular printing. Like, this actually is really smooth. But you got 
here's the front of it dope tie-dye shirt and on the front basically got like 2j skull you know with his beard you know and then you got a snake with ice cream dripping off his tongue and then you got you in for urban necessities i'm gonna hold this a little bit closer to the camera so y'all can see the picture uh he had this dude working hours and hours and days trying to get this photo just right or it's design uh really cool design on this and like i said this right here's on your shirt it's kind of right here on the side of the chest kind of and then on the back you got a bigger version of that comment below what do y'all think about this shirt i definitely think that this is a uh, really cool and uh i love the shirt um Oh, yeah, I forgot to even check to see if he... He told me he he would have signed it, but I I didn't really get to message him in time, so I don't think he really had time to do this one. By the time I messaged him, I think he already had it packed up. But <clears throat> I'll show y'all in another video. Like, the man's not, you know, uh, he's, he's a humble dude. He don't act like he's too good to, to sign something if you want him to sign it. I do have a shirt that he signed for me. And he told me, you know, he would on this but for me to hit him up. And I think, like I said, uh, they was packing on a Monday. And he told me to hit him up early on a Monday. And I forgot to do it. And I went to work. And by the time I'd done it, you know, I just, I don't think he had time to, you know, he done had it packed up. And he would have had to went through and dug through all these. And, you know, trust and believe. I'm cool. You know, he, I'll ask him on the next one. You know what I'm saying? But, uh dope shirt you know and you know like i said y'all comment below wish me some luck because i'm trying to hit them chunky donkeys you know what i'm saying like your boy needs them the channel needs them y'all need a video for them on my channel so let's just hope that uh hope and pray that we we get them for his channel um and then you know that might be a shoe that i just hang on to um i like the shoe i wanted the shoe just because it's so different you know but uh if I did resell it, best believe that it's going to be strictly just to buy more shoes for comment or content on this channel for y'all. That's all, the only reason why I would sell it. It wouldn't be nothing or for anything to benefit me other than adding more shoes to my collection, which in return adds more content for y'all. That's it. Um, so uh, if I win that, you know it's a win-win for us all you know what i'm saying and <clears throat> if i was to sell it then i would probably try to do some kind of giveaway for y'all you know if i win a giveaway from him and end up selling the prize that i get then i'll end up doing some kind of giveaway for y'all because i of course that shoe's selling for a good chunk so therefore i would try to you know do something for y'all to give back to y'all as well um just because you know you, that's if you get helped out or, or, you know, something good happens, you you need to pass it on. You know what I'm saying? Um, today, I, did, I don't know if I remember saying, but I did hit on the Yeezy Quantums. And on the Supreme Drop, I hit on... I, I just didn't really like this drop a whole lot, y'all. I went for the Ziploc Supreme Baggies. I hit on four boxes of them. So who knows? We might do a giveaway on some of those, you know. Or what I might do is... We might do a giveaway where I take some of them baggies and put some stickers, uh, Supreme stickers in, and do some giveaway with that where you get, you know, maybe a couple baggies, Ziploc baggies, the Supreme ones, and then you got a couple of stickers in them or something, Supreme stickers. So the comment below, let me know what y'all think about that giveaway. And uh, if you done made it this far, please drop a sub, like, and comment. And, you know, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. And, uh... I really appreciate everybody that watches my videos. I really, really appreciate everybody that comments on my videos. And uh, that's all I can really say about that. But um, <clears throat> I got some more shoes coming. Like I said, Saturday I'm going to try to go hit, which I pretty much know I'm going to at least get one pair of the Jordan 11 Lows. Um, so I, I'm hoping I'll have a video for that coming up very soon. And then I've got some Jordan 1s coming, I think, on Monday uh 
I can't remember. I, I think I got a couple of things. I've just been all over the place. And then once those Yeezys come in, I will be doing a review on those. I will probably be selling those. Size 11. So if you want them, hit my Instagram up at S underscore wide underscore 82. Um, first come, first serve on that pair. I'm not holding it. Um, you know, I just, I'm not an easy person. I got that because I saw that those normally do pretty good on the market. You know, not nothing crazy, crazy. But like right now, it's going for like 440 in my size. So, um, <clears throat> once pairs start coming in, I'm going to try to hurry up and do a video and hurry up and zip it out. That way I can try to make some kind of money off of it and invest it back into the channel. So, uh, y'all please drop a like, sub, comment, share the video, go to, uh, <clears throat> go on the Instagram to 2 J's. And uh, comment on one of his pictures and say, hey, I saw your tie-dye shirt. Or go to his post about the tie-dye shirt and say, oh, I saw this on Steve's Hot Beast and uh, Sneaker Reviews. Uh, or say something. Just bring my name up. Bring the channel's name up. And, uh, you know, show, show him some love. And also, go to UrbanNecessities.com. Tons of great shoes. And a lot of times they're listed a little bit below like StockX and Goat and stuff. So you can find some steals. You can find some shoes that's just flat out not at anywhere else. You know. And uh, 2J's Closet. Like he's fixing to be posting some stuff that's like 40 to $50. Shoes that are 40 to $50 under, you know, your favorite Goat and StockX uh, website prices. So uh, stay tuned to that. Watch his live feeds, feeds on Instagram. <clears throat> the man does them almost every night, every other night. Uh, and he has tons of people that comes on, like I'm wanting to do. If y'all would ever see his live feed and how he brings people on the show, their sneaker collection, that's what I'm wanting to do with you guys. Um, then he also has some, you know, high up people, you know, in the industry. And I've seen, a, you know, he had Bun B on there one time showing off some sneakers. It, it's just always a dope live feed. Some crazy characters on his live feed on the on the comments. So, uh, you know, try not to pay attention. If, you, if you're a sensitive person, try not to pay attention to the peanut gallery in the comments. Because they get a little buck wild at times. But, you know, dude is, 2Js is a straight up humble dude. And, and I got... Much love for him and mad respect. Uh, but, um, yeah, go check out 2J's uh, closet.com. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. I got, feel like I got something tingling in my throat. Uh, ah, there we go. My allergies have been going nuts. But, um, Go to 2 jscloset.com. I believe that is spelled T-W-O-J-S closet.com. Um, I'll try to put it in the description below. Uh, I won't be able to put a link to it, I don't think, because I've been flagged before for that, trying to say that I was selling something when I wasn't. So we're, we're not going to put the .com. Or I might put some little symbols to where it, you know, you see that it's saying, or I might spell out dot in quotation, so you know to put a dot there, and don't type dot, alright, but, uh, and then Urban Necessities, it's just spelled like Urban Necessities, you can Google that, and they'll take you right to it, he's even got, you know, Google even talks about him, dude self-made, went from nothing to something, and, uh, you know, and as humble as I'll get out, <clears throat> so that's gonna wrap this video up, like I said, if you've made it this far, or if this is your first time watching one of my videos, please drop a luck, a, a luck, a like, a comment, and a, uh, blah, blah, blah. I done messed all that up, y'all. I'm tired. If you've done made it this far, <clears throat> now my voice is trying to go out. If you've done made it this far, and, uh, if you, if you're watching this video, if your first time watching it, Please drop a sub, like, and comment. Hit that notification bell. All that good stuff. Y'all know the drill. And that's going to wrap this video up. But uh, y'all have a good night. Much love. Peace out.